just a game we all want to win. Hey everyone, it's Jason. Uh, welcome to a brand new video. Uh, if you're a subscriber, sorry about the long content. I have a bunch of Kickstarter games coming. Um, so I'll be making some more videos, hopefully. Um, but today we got a fun surprise. It's Throw Throw Burrito. Uh, from the guys that made Exploding Kittens. Um, there's going to be a couple different videos. These are full unboxing videos. Um, but I got the... Original edition. This is the type you'd see right in the store. We will have the special Kickstarter edition. I have the Extreme edition. And I will also do a video cover up all my personal information there uh, for the prototype. There's a white box. Um, so I'm going to do like one video for each. Kind of go through. Um, so we're just going to start a throw throw burrito. Bear with me while I try and rip this box open. So what this is, for anyone that's never heard of it, it is a card game slash dodgeball game. Dodgeball card game. Um... Basically, here's your instructions on how it works. Place a pair of throwable burritos on the table. Deal out cards. Uh, earn points by collecting three of any type of card. Um, so it's it's a quick-paced game. Everyone's standing around and like you're quickly throwing down a card, trying to grab a new one, throwing down another one until you have a set of three. Um, then you score points. If you play a burrito uh, battle card, then people have to back, like, pick up the burritos and throw them at each other. That's the dodgeball part comes in. Some of them could be all in all. Some of them might be one versus one. Uh, and then you determine the winner. So go ahead and open this game up. Here are the rules. There, here there are some two player variants, uh, two decks if you want to have more people, just some quick game, I'm not going to sit here and go through all of these, battles, different wars, or how the duels work, the nuances of a battle, like how to throw them, like how it has to hit a person, Ties, uh, stuff like you can't catch them. I love this one down here. Uh, you can duck, dodge, or use other objects or players as shields. Deflect the burrito as, with the shield. Or hide or run. <laughs> but you can't have more than one burrito at a time. A little thing just showing some of the other games. Bears versus Babies, which I have. Um, I don't think I've done a video for that, so I'll probably have to get on that. You've got crabs, don't have that one yet, and exploding kittens. Oop, and I got a special code there, I don't want to show that off. Then we got the burrito itself. And they're made of squishy foam. So they're not going to hurt when you whack someone with them. Nothing otherwise special about them, there's just... Insides or mixings. A fear me token, which is part of the game. Um, I believe that's to do if you win, you take one of those tokens. Dead burrito tokens. Not going to pop everything out right now. All right, so just the two card decks of cards. All right, so we're gonna go through the cards. Um, a little different camera angle, so they're zoomed up a little bit closer. So this is a sloth 
the goth sloth. Um, lots of them have, they all have a kind of like rhymy names because they're supposed to be quick. They're different colors and systems. Black uh, has original edition on there so you can sort them out very quickly. Um, all the backs are the same. They are very nice quality. And there's a bunch of these because again, the point is to try and match three of them. They wanted to give you enough so that you're playing with multiple people, you can find them quick. Alright, then we get to the next one. This is a pink one. The Jelly Jelly. Where were you last night, Cheryl? This is Jealous. None of these ones are pink. And it's nice, though, like, nice clean cards, the, uh... Nice bright colors help you so if you're just trying to grab them quick with a bunch of people. The Licky Chicky. <laughs> Please stop. These guys are so cute. Um, yeah, then you can just find them quick. Like, oh, I'm matching yellow, I'm matching this. So we have the Barky Sharky, which is a blue border with some red. Woof, woof, I'm a good boy. The last one in this pile is the Logger Dogger. That's all the ones in that pile. That gave you what? One, two, three, four, five different types there. And then we have some more here. So we have the Floaty Goaty. The Meow Cow, Exploding Kittens, of course, is going to be a cow. Alright, so that gives seven different types of matchings. And then we get to the Burrito Brawl. Um, and these can also, you have to match three of these to, to initiate them. So it's not just plain one, does it? So there's going to be a bunch of different ones of these. But again, nice big bright colors so you can tell them apart quick. Uh, the Burrito Brawl. So these are two different ones. So they do the same thing. Basically it just initiates two people having to throw throw burritos at each other. You stop the game. And two people. But you can't match the green with the pink. They're different colors. The Burrito Duel. Two players stand back to back. Take three paces. Turn around and throw like an old western. And the Burrito War. Where it's all against all. So there's four different types of burrito, well, three different types, four types of cards. Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Throw Throw Burrito, the dodgeball card game from the creators of Exploding Kittens. This is the Kickstarter version. Uh, again, here it's going to show the same thing it showed on the regular one, how to play, everything else. Oh, I didn't realize that they taped me shut. Sorry for that little pause, I just opened the box. So I got a... special little thing. So if I go to Burning Cat, I can get into a special area. That's interesting. A little burrito like ping, that's cool. So here are... The burritos for the second one, they have a derpy face on them. And that's just a Kickstarter exclusive, but again, they're still the nice soft foam. Like, I mean, like anything, if you whip it at someone's face, it's probably going to sting a little bit, but it's not going to, like, kill anybody. More instructions, same as the last. Another giant fear token. More little birdie eco tokens. These ones are already punched out. I got a little baggy for them. The first one came with one too. So that's nice. Um, I like it when they include deck stuff. Here are the deck of cards. So we're going to switch to a different camera. One sec. 
All right, we're going to look at the Kickstarter edition cards. What's nice about this is that it's, it's a bunch of brand new cards. So I have even more um, options to play. I can mix and match if I only want to have seven. I can take one out of the other. Um, so that's pretty cool. These are the Drama Llamas. <laughs> the grass is a little chewy today. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll just starve to death then, won't we, Kevin? Again, they have the bright colors, which are nice. This is a loafer gopher. You know, nice clean pictures. They're not full of stuff. The sluggy puggy. The yelling melon. Yelling melon. The last of this pile is the religion pigeon, who's a pigeon with a pope hat. And they still have the same backs. So again, they're nice and mix and matchable with the other set. Throw them all in one. Um, probably don't want to mix them unless you're adding more players, otherwise you'll have too much stuff. Here's the Sombrero Sparrow, Donde Esta La Fiesta. The black male whale. I know what you did. So there were the seven different types, same as the other one. You also need these are Kickstarter one. You could hundred percent just play by itself. Um, we have a burrito brawl, burrito brawl pink, same exact colors. So these are just extra. I mean, basically, so if you add more of these, the burrito duels, you're going to have more duels. It's a burrito war. So by throwing in more of the other cards, um, yeah, by throwing, <laughs> sorry, uh, by throwing in more of the other cards, other than not the Burrito War cards, but the other ones, um, it'll be harder to get three points good. But if you have more War cards or Burrito cards, you'll end up with more fighting. So, if we're... Hey everyone, before I do the Extreme Edition, I want you to look over the prototype quick. Um, so this is the prototype 1.1. Got a nice little note from the team saying, hey, this is the game. Stuff, stuff, and words. I'm not going to go through and read it all. Um, but I kind of wanted to show off this so you can kind of see where everything came from. So, these are the burritos they came from. They look like little potatoes, but they're still a nice sponge. Um, it's kind of neat because I can actually sit here and play with these as well. They have the bruise tokens, which are now the little burritos with the crosses on them. The fear me badge, which was the big giant taco. Um, the printed out on regular paper instruction manual. I did get a second burrito, which I haven't opened. The other cool thing they gave here, I'm gonna flip this box around. They gave all these party supplies. Little whistles, they have balloons that say, throw, throw burrito. Let's see if you have a burrito party. There's uh, streamers, confetti, got a bunch of streamers here. So that was pretty cool. That thing, you could have like a giant party. I just hadn't had any time to do it, so. It's all still in the box, but it's pretty neat. Um, we're going to flip over here quick, and we're going to look at the... Individual cards. We can kind of just see what they got. So, the backs on here are different. They don't have the border. So, ideally, they kind of look the same, but they're not like 100% mix and match. If you sleeve them all, then you could probably play them all together. 
Well, I also like because a lot of these are cards that haven't existed before. They aren't in there. So we, and these are a little bit more graphic, uh, but nothing terribly bad. So the bodacious bear butt. But you can see where they're kind of getting, you know, prototype one point. The idea of it. Um, they had like the reds, so you know, it was a red card, but there's not a lot of stuff. They have the uh, same card type names. The Morning Marmot. The Tormented Taco. The Apathetic Avocado. Get up. Why, though? I wonder if some of these will eventually, like, make it into, like, an expansion. You know, or something like that. Kitty Kapoopy. A Zesty Zack. And the only one that's from the actual game. The oops, the jealous jellyfish, which became known as Jelly Jelly. And then they have your burrito cards, your scuffle. So they have the pink one, but instead of a green one, the other ones are blue. And the duels, instead of being brown, are now like a blue. We also see what they did here is they tried to keep these looking the same with like the little symbols. In, and then the regular set, they actually just expanded them to be like full cards. So they stand out completely different. So if someone throws them down, you know, and they got like the little burrito symbol. Alright, we are going for the Extreme Edition. If you're wondering what the Extreme Edition was, it was a version that lets me play it outside. So it's going to come in this awesome bat, like travel bag, so throw, throw burrito, extreme, going pro edition with a beefed up taco. I love the barcode, the little kitty cat. Um, this also has some cool backpack-like handles, so you can carry it with you. I didn't even realize it's getting a backpack, so that's pretty awesome. Alright, so I'm just going to start going through some of this stuff. And we'll just see what we pull out. So, we got a bunch of these. These are sweatbands. So, if like you play outside, you start sweating. There are a ton of them. One player, two player, three player, four player, five player. And I'm sure I have one more in here to make it a sixth player somewhere. There's six sets of them. There's six players. Well, you wouldn't look even more awesome if you didn't have the throw throw burrito headband. And we've got six of those as well. That way you can throw on your headband and your wrist braces so you can look like an actual athlete playing dodgeball. Crazier, we have goggles. They're pretty just, I mean, they are stuck together. So they're not like anything high tech, but they're just plastic goggles you can throw on. Um, that's nice for when you're playing outside and you want to start throwing them at each other. At least they're not hitting each other in the eye. Um, there's six pairs of those. Oh my gosh. So, we have these giant monstrosities. These are the burritos. Um, I knew this said there was going to be throwable, uh, inflatable burritos. I assumed they were the same size as the regular ones. They are not. Um, I will 
blow one of these up in a little bit, and I will put that in the end of the video. But we have the rules, which are the same as all the other rules, nothing different. Alright, we're going to flip down to the closer up cam here quick. Repairch it. So, we have this new Fear Me token. This one's only one-sided, but it's made from like a plastic instead of a cardboard. Because the idea is supposed to be you can play these outside. So it's a little bit more durable, plus a little bit more extreme thing. Here's his own headband. Same thing, we have the bruise tokens. Again, they're only one-sided, but that's fine. Um, but they're made of that same type of plastic. Alright, and then we're going to look at the cards, if I can figure out how to open them. One sec. Alright, so we have these. So, backs look the exact same. One thing that is special about these. Uh, is going to say Extreme Edition. So, we've already seen the Black Male Whale. But now he has an Extreme Headband on. So that's cool, but you're like, well, is that all? No. They're actually um, made of a little different type of thing. They're waterproof. That is the other advantage of playing these outside, is that you can whip them at each other even harder, or play them out and they can get wet. So it's so far a little bit different, there's only two of those, and there's only two Drama Llamas. Again, same cards, just with headbands on. Go for Loafers. Religion Pigeon. Sluggy Puggy. Okay, here comes more of them. They just have them set up differently in the packs than the other ones. So it looks like these might be the exact same characters that were in the Kickstarter edition. Your Sombrero, your Sombrero Sparrow, whose hat has a headband. The yellow melon. Your uh, brawl cards all have headbands, including the ones they're throwing down here. Your duel and your burrito water. And then I believe all the other cards are the same. Yeah, so not much to go through. I'm not going to like show. They're all the same cards. But that's cool. They're waterproof. You can play them that way. So we'll have one quick uh, update in a minute when I see how this burrito looks inflated. Be right back. Alright, so after about 10 to 15 minutes of blowing this guy up, there is my giant inflatable burrito. It has toppings there. That is him next to a chair. So you can get an idea. Sorry for the really shaky cam, but you can get an idea of how tall this guy is. Alright, really, so that was an unboxing of the Throw Throw Burrito Kickstarter game. Uh, the regular Throw Throw Burrito should be in stores, I think, in the next couple of months. I think it comes out in... September or October, I'm not remember. October, November, I think it was a month or two later. Uh, so it'll be nice for came a little bit earlier for a fun summer game. But it should be a great thing to play. Um, kids can play, you know, up to seven. Age of seven plus, probably just because you shouldn't be whipping uh, tiny burritos at toddlers or little children. And they might not understand the concept of matching cards. Uh, so yeah, catch you guys all in the next video. Bye.